So pile number one, we have, this could be the one. This is your channel message. I'll read that in a second. I have, oh, look. Don't, don't get anxious. I'll read it to you in a moment. We have the four. We have the five of swords. And the spiritual energy guiding this uh, reading is Queen Yah Asatiwa. Level up. My apologies if I said it incorrectly. All right, here's your channel message. Hey, butthead. I like you. You like me. It's early, but so what? We got a good solid vibe going. Give you and I a chance. All right, pal number one, butthead. I'm calling you butthead from this point forward, pal number one. Hey, butthead. Why aren't you giving this a chance, butthead? Okay, I'm stopping with the butthead. All right, let's see what's going on for real though. Pile number one. This is new love because we already we have opportunity. And they got the the kid in the in the sheet. Do you ghost someone, or are you worried about being ghosted? You have a spiritual familiar guiding you towards this person, but you didn't know that. But now you do. Also, we have three nine. They they said that three is significant. So angel number, no karmic le, um, number three, karmic number three, which I believe had to do with um, past life energy where you got what you wanted easily, and now you're learning how to get things on your own in this life. Don't quote me on that, but I do believe that's what it was. Unrequited love. Somebody got some high energy for you. Finances and careers. This could be someone you know at work. They said yes. This is a work situation for many of you. Like the water cooler buddy, work husband, work wife, um, secret crush. Someone that got their eye on you. The five of swords. You're definitely avoiding this. Could be because you had... A bad experience and if this is work you, there might be a hierarchy where you can't touch the person and they can't touch you um, because of HR reasons I don't mean touch touch but I meant like uh, like be at your level I guess because the girl is like standing on the um, the bird bat and they're looking down like oh man so maybe it's like a boss employee relationship for somebody just throwing that out there calling in your soulmate oh. this is not something to ignore how one if that's why you have been hesitant about this relationship there's a feeling of an inadequacy involved it, um you could trust this person Oh gosh, they care about you. They think about you at night. They lay in bed and go, hmm, I wonder what my person is thinking right now. Pal number one. You know, like junior high crush? <laughs> that cute, sweet, innocent junior high crush, crush. Speaking of junior high, they may be rude to you or you might be rude to them. Because you're hiding feelings or they're hiding feelings. That's not okay, we're adults here, but I'm just letting you know that came up. And we have codependency. So you might have some issues with codependency that you have to flare up. So you might want to look into that. I'm hearing something. The world. Daddy issues. Somebody got daddy issues. You are dumb. Mommy, no, daddy issues. It's daddy issues. That's affecting this. Um, this is the two of cups in this deck. This is such a sweet, innocent, a potential sweet, innocent romance. 
like junior high high school love and when I was writing this like the first thing that came out was hey butthead I was thought that was just so adorable you know there's somebody who's like throws jabs at you because they think it's cute because they don't want you to know how much they care about you they're terrified I have um, a set a set of deck cards where you guys can't see and on top of it is the runner terrified card they are terrified to admit that they like you but at the same time they want you to take a chance with them ace of spooks ace of cups new love new love this is a definitely new love deck every every uh, pile had a different energy that's why i said if you're one you're one if you're two you're two etc so forth and this is the new love uh, pal so pal number one i'm gonna give you a a what would happen now what what do you want spirit what do you want me to tell them they want you to know that everything's gonna be okay even if you choose not to be in this relationship, everything's going to be okay. You're being encouraged towards this relationship, but if it's not your cup of tea, it's okay. It's okay. You're not being forced to do something that you don't want to do. All right, pal number two. Don't peek at the message. This is your pal, Snake. Snake, snake. I'm trying to do the snake sound, but that escaped me guiding this uh, relationship I don't know why I said relationship like that but it's like relationship is um, Nana Baluku seasons and I have the number one things are changing I just heard snake in the grass I just heard um, I don't know I don't remember what your pal is like I said, I shuffled it. I moved them around so I didn't remember. So I don't know. I'm not even looking. I'll find out when you find out. All right. We have six of wands. Seven of pentacles. Make the effort. All right. Pile number two. Here. Is your very long. Now I'm looking at this card and I remember... This person had a lot to say. My love, you and me, it always has been and will always be you and me. Bonnie to my client, I'm coming to you. I'm trying to make things right because I miss you so much. Every step I make is for us, my love. I only wish we were together at this very moment. Continue working through your toxic traits as I continue to work on mine. I will marry you, commit to you in due time. My amour, my heart. <laughs> oh, that was, <laughs> wow. <laughs> I wrote it down, but it was a channel message. So it didn't hit until like I said it out loud. That's, that's nice. <laughs> Pile number two. Your person got, your person got the way of the pen. All right. So like, oh, Jesus. What we have here soulmate we also have deception and we have wedding and remember he's he or she said about commitment i will marry you give your relationship a chance well 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 pile number two i guess just gonna go ahead and wrap it up here because apparently there's nothing else to say i mean i'm not wrapping it up here but i'm just saying don't doubt this love <laughs> pal number two do not doubt this love it might be bumpy right now but it's not because it's not something that's currently growing i have seven of pentacles seven of pentacles is about um the seeds you have planted are starting to grow um it's not best illustrated in this Elvis tarot card. <laughs> um, usually it's like a tree planting or something like that. But um, it fits for this reading because I feel like your person is very suave. 
they're they're the one at the at the disco standing on the side waiting for you to come to them they're the one that goes up to the karaoke and sing a very embarrassing love song to prove to you how much they care for you six of wands it talks about success seasons talks about change changes making a change changes on its way winter and fall night and day this reminds me of a snake i mentioned that in another reading and we have the snake here there's a third party energy that is interfering in this relationship which i will dig a little deeper because why the heck not right if it's showing up in the cars was that a gratuitous shot of my chest i hope not <laughs> I really do hope not. Okay. Uh, <laughs> there we go. You saw how that shuffled? Like it was fast and then got slow, 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 slow. I feel like that's how communication is with you guys. It starts out good and then it slows down. And it starts out good again and it slows down. King of Swords. Information. Walking away. They want to walk away from someone. And they're also hiding secrets from you. Probably about this third person, the star, hope. Don't give up hope on this. You know, um, a lot of tarot readers, including myself, will tell you don't wait for somebody. And I'm telling you don't wait for somebody. But at the same time, as you're going on with your life, um, working on yourself, meeting new people, dating somebody, you know, I will hold on just a little, I will hold the door open for this person. I'm being guided to tell you that. Leave the door open for this person. Chariot. They want to get away from this snake. It's a snake in the grass. They, what I said in the beginning, serpent, they really want to get away from this person. They can't. It has to do with information. It has to do with information. Like this person, this snake, holding all the cards. They're being your person is is being guided to run, but your kid is an entanglement. Um, they might be kids evolved. Like, if you leave me, you won't see the kids again. Could be dark magic involved. This is my dark magic card. Um, I want to start steering away from dark magic. Um, black. They said I could use black magic instead of dark magic. Black love magic involved. And this is my um, total opposite. This is like a light worker card, um, angel magic card. So it's like your person is heavily protected. But at the same time, this entanglement got them good. It's good and tight. It's, it's like a snake wrapping their body around your person is trying to choke them but your person has the knife and is able, it's trying to cut through but it's like an anaconda it's taking them at a while the six of um swords we have the six of swords the eight of cups the chariot this person your person is trying to get away <laughs> like i don't like all the getaway cars are here the only one missing is like the hermit like, all the get the hell away cards are right here. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. It's not going to last long, though. They're, um, they're building up a... I just heard the word fence. To keep this person out of their life. It's just taking time. 
but they're coming towards you. They're working on themselves to come towards you. And like the let the um the channel letter said, as they're working on themselves, you should be working on yourself as well. Especially if this is um though they told me not to say that. But you should don't don't just don't just sit there and say, Oh, it's them. It's all them. They're the ones that, I burp, excuse me. They're the ones who need to do all the work. It's not me, it's them. It's not. It's you as well. You have your drama and your gar garbage to take out. And so now is the time to do it. Um, things that you know you need to work on yourself. Now it's the time to work on it. So um, don't go yet. Just because you see me clearing off the table doesn't mean I'm done. I got more to say. Because they want me to do a, um, a feelings. Some feelings for you. Because they, they feel like you don't believe that this person cares about you. <laughs> my ancestors they're like when they want to drive a lesson down they will drive a lesson down <laughs> they're like you're not done yet you're not going anywhere sit down right here we're not through with you once they have somebody in their clutches <laughs> once you click this video they're like uh-uh you're not going anywhere to where oh twin flame I mean, what more do you need to know? It's twin flame. You want more? Okay, I'll give you more. Runner. Runner chaser. Twin flame. Take it slow. Emotionally attached. They want to ask you out. You want to ask them out. And I have music playing in the, in the background. And you know that song, Africa? All the rain down in Africa. You should um, look at their lyrics to that. The real deal, romantic feelings. Yeah, so this person cares. They care. They might act a fool, but they care. And part of the reason why they're acting up is they're terrified. Terrified. The reason why they're terrified. Why can't I say that? They don't want me to say that. The reason why they're acting the way they have been acting in the past is because of their past. They have a lot of things going on in their past that affects the way they see people. And they want they don't want what happened in the past to happen again with you. That's how much they care about you. They want to make sure that this is right. Moving on to pile number three. Pile number three, don't look at your card. Pile number three, how dare you cheat? No, no, no. Pile number three, you're the star. You are the star. Again, I said this in pile number one and pile number two. I do not remember what your letter is. So I will be surprised as you. All right, so I have Queen Nani Intuition. I just heard look up Google her information. They didn't say Google. I said Google. But look up her information. Queen Nani. Um, I have the world. Completion. Ending of a cycle. Oh, they want me to brace you. I think I do know what this power is. So they want me to brace you. Temperance. Balancing act. Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. All right, pal three. Sometimes there's messages that we um, need to hear, but we don't want to hear. And unfortunately, this is one of those. So be prepared because now I'm remembering this pal. All right, dear you. Embrace my heart knowing you still care for me when I carelessly play with your heart. Use her more. I'm grateful for our time together, but it's best for both of us to move apart. It's best for both of us to move apart. I hate to say... I hate to say it, but my lying and cheating was manipulation, so you'll finally leave me. I am a coward. I'm sorry, pal three. Really sorry. 
All right. Um, let's get some tarot cards for you. Actually, they want me to read Queen Nani for you. It's the um, embodiment that they want me to read. 35, 30, the number five change is appointed for you if you want to look up angel number five. And three, karmic number three, and angel number five. Queen Nani, goddess of intuition, Zulu. Um, skipping ahead to embodiment. What is your guidance telling you? Put your hands over your third eye, which is the center of your forehead, and ask. If I knew what the answer is, what would it be? Then follow your first instinct. Slow down. Go for a walking meditation. Be present with nature and pay attention. Being present allows you to feel, feel, hear, see, and sense your guidance. Um, I get, I'm getting the feeling that you knew it, this was at an end, but you didn't want to believe it. I have music playing in the background as Whitney Houston's uh, and we almost have it all. If you want to look at the lyrics to that. I don't know why I just think it's so stiff suddenly. Alright. We have a three of swords. It really broke your heart. So sorry. The nine of wands. You are a playboy or a playgirl. Shock and dismayed. Um, they were doing things right under your nose. Talking to other people, lying to you, deceiving you playing games. I just heard stealing from somebody. Like maybe taking money out of your wallet. Using you. Um, you're being guided to seek professional help. That could be in the form of a therapist. That could be in the form of the police. It could be in the form of the court system. You would know far better than me. It could be in the form of um, a psychic tarot reader. I just heard. So um, you might want to get a personal reading. But they're saying seek professional help though. It could be in the form of an accountant. I really do feel like somebody got money taken away from them. I care but I scared your leave. Um... They use your fear of abandonment against you. Very nice. Very classy. Man, pal three. I'm sorry. I am really sorry. This is a definite heartbreaking situation. And you probably came here hoping to hear something different. Or if you were looking for validation, then here's your validation that this person was not a good person for you. I'm not saying they're not a good person, but they were not a good person for you, pal three. They use and deceive you. They lied and manipulated. They need told tells on you. Lies. Don't go yet. I'm going to do a what's their karma. Y'all hear that Miss Cleo has a documentary coming out? They did a documentary on Miss Cleo. Very interesting to watch it. These are her deck. This is the Miss Cleo deck. Um, that's why I brought it up. The Nine of Cups. I'm not gonna lie, I feel a little smug. <laughs> the Nine of Cups, things that they hope for is not gonna come true. They, they, let me not say anything. 
Montana staff, they're going to have a lot of hardship in the near future because they were using you to make their life easier. So now that karma is a life, a forced labor, forced labor. What's that? That felt like I had, it did not want to, it, it hid. Like it fell, it went on the shelf, it's hidden. Hidden. Something's hidden. Something that's hidden is going to come out. A child? A secret baby? Ugh. Five of Cups. Um, they're, gonna, they're, going, they're going to go through emotional issues. Like right now, it feels like they really think that they're like the shit. And they don't have to deal with anything. But they don't know this is coming for them. The Four of Swords sleepless nights they're gonna have a lot of hard time sleeping they're gonna be riddled with with oh, sleep sleep demons sleep demons Ugh, I don't want that king of staff communication there's gonna be block communication a vital information that they're gonna need to make their life easier will be blocked continuously all right pal number four even though you're the last pal, I don't really remember the message. Um, the jet. When are you the jet? I just saw West Side Story. The jet. Um, Tony. Tony and Maria. Xylophone. Music. Maybe you guys like a lot of music? Or communicate through music? Maybe this is a Maria and Tony situation where you guys are not supposed to be together on paper. It doesn't look like you guys are supposed to be together. Um, igloo. Cold shoulder. Tituba feeling safe is the spiritual guidance over your guys' relationship. Tituba feeling safe. You want me to read a little bit from Tituba? Number four, and it opened right up. Goddess of feeling safe from Barbados, Guyana, Salim, temple ancestors. So this is um, a lot of ancestral um, energy here. Great ancestress Tituba was an enslaved Caribbean woman who was the first person accused in the 1692 Salem witch trials. Oh yeah, Tituba. She was most likely kidnapped from the Guyana region of South America and then sold through a Barbados plantation. Embodiment, you deserve to feel secure. There's more, but they, that's all they want to say. Tituba was, um, she was the first one to be accused. And they, um, the, the, the girls were saying that Tituba gave her, gave the witch pies. I'm trying to remember the story. They gave her witch cakes or something like that. And Tituba ended up, um, snitching on the other girls because she had no choice and also to save herself so basically she was told if you don't say this this and this during the trials and say that it was this person then they would they will kill her so she did it to save herself I don't know why that's significant for you guys. All right, so we have the three of wands. This looks like Marty McFly. A lot of movie energy as well. You guys like movies? King of Cups. King of Cup energy. Release your ex. Oh, now I remember this pal. Release your ex. All right. Here's your message. Hey you, I miss you so much. I regret all the time lost between us. I truly wish we could work things out. I miss you. I love you for all eternity. Please return. Please return to me. Now I remember. Yeah, this was, um, I wasn't expecting this message with this card. That's why I remember it as I, when I flipped this one over. 
three of cups, three of wands, to two, to two of feeling safe. You don't feel safe. You push, you push this person away because you did not feel safe. This person is using their emotions to be their emotions for you to manipulate you into a situation you do not feel safe in. Ah, that's why the story of Tatuba was so significant. You didn't get it now. So actually, looking at it from that point of view, this is a very gaslit channel message. Hey you, I miss you so much. I regret all the time lost between us. I truly wish we could work things out. I miss you. I love you for all eternity. Please return to me. Hmm. Oh. Look at it through the, uh, another lens. It's a whole different situation. And I feel like that's what you guys do. Like you guys, you fell from them with rose colored glasses and now you're seeing them for how, who they truly are. I'm looking at this ring like it's a, um, a spec, what do you call it? A spectacle? What the thing that hangs from your clothes that you hold up to your eye eyeglass you know the, the rich who you two people wear it <laughs> like excuse me <laughs> you know we had a nine of pentacles hmm. this is the happily single pal ten of wands in reverse you guys are like i i saw them for who they are and i am out of dodge <laughs> you saw them for who you are who they really are you saw them changing into the werewolf when everybody else did not so other people didn't see them they saw marty with fly you saw the werewolf you saw them up the zombie strength card it took a lot of strength for you to leave you were indecisive about leaving for a very long time i gotta say it looks like you made the right decision you might be in a no contact situation because remember it's like cold shoulder the magician you manifested your release this is feeling like um not just toxic energy this is also feeling like if you were in a a um a physical altercation relationship or a SA relationship, you know, you got to be careful with um, YouTube and you were finally got the strength to leave And now they're trying to sweet talk you and they're coming back and they probably tell people this too. this Oh, I miss them. I love them. I can't wait to see them again When it starts in the reverse, you are not in communication with them at all and whatever communication is very little like maybe you guys have kids, so you only talk about the kids. You keep it at base level. Six of Cups. This might be somebody that you knew from a long time in your past. I'm also heard the word karmic, a karmic relationship. Um, if you don't want to deal with this person in the next life, cut cords. Because right now it's scheduled. <laughs> It's already scheduled for you to go through this again in another life, the karmic relationship. So you might want to cut cords for the future so you don't have to deal with it again in the future life. Six of Wands, success. And they want me to end it here, actually, because they say you're doing so good. You don't need any more advice, pal four. So I'm going to end it. You got the hell out of Dodge. You are not looking back. I did not blame you. Way to go, sis. Way to go, bro. This is Magical Butterfly Spirit. If you have done so already, please like, share, subscribe to all the YouTube goodness stuff. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.